Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be back. First of all, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make these super cute bows for gifts and presents and they are so easy. Anyone can make them. You only need scissors and a glue gun and some wrapping paper. You heard that right. Your scraps of wrapping paper do not need to be thrown away. You can make them into cute bows for all of your packages. Let's get started. Okay. So all you're gonna need for this tutorial is some leftover wrapping paper, or you can just use some that you have. You can use scraps, whatever, um, some scissors, and a glue gun. These are super easy tutorials. Okay, so for the first one, um, we are gonna do the smaller one first. You're going to need five strips of wrapping paper. I just used the grid on the back of the wrapping paper and cut them into one inch strips, so one little square. So they're one inch wide by eight inches long. So you're gonna need five of that side, of that size, and then you're going to need one inch wide by six inches long. And then you're gonna need one smaller piece for the very top, and that's about an inch wide and three inches long, probably. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your strips and you're gonna fold them over and you're just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the end and then fold the other end over and glue them together. It's as easy as that. And um, you're gonna do that to every single one of them and then I will come back and show you. Okay, I just want to note that you do not want to crease the sides. So when you fold it over, make sure you leave them open a little bit, if that makes sense. So I'm not creasing down the sides. I'm gluing those two together. And I'm going to do that to every single one of them. And then I will come back and tell you the next step. Okay, so I've almost got all of mine done. I am going to glue this one. And then I also decided that it's better if we put a little dab of glue on the inside just to glue the loop together, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to put a little dot of glue right here in the back and I'm just going to stick it together so that it kind of makes those loops poke up a little bit more. You do not want to crease the sides though. So, and I have one more to do. Also, you can do more than five loops of each size, or you could do less. You could make them longer or smaller. It just depends on how big and full you want your bow to look. Okay, and just to clarify, make sure you are very careful with the glue gun when using paper. It burns a lot easier than with fabric. So now what you're going to do is just put one of the long ones on the bottom and you're just going to put a little dab of glue on the top of it and you're going to place another one on top and you're just going to build it up. You want to stagger it so they're not all facing the same direction, but you're just going to take your bigger ones on the bottom, then the little ones as you go up higher until it's about the way you want it to look, as full as you want it to look. Then you're going to take your little tiny piece that you have that's about three inches long and you're just going to make a little loop out of it. Sorry, I accidentally pulled my hands farther away from the camera so you can't see, but I'm just making it into a tiny loop, then I'm putting a little bit of glue on it, and then I am just going to glue it in place right there on top, and you're done with this bow. I love how it turned out. It's simple, it's easy, and it can just add a little touch of something to a present. You already have the leftover scraps from wrapping the present. It's perfect, and it's fast and easy. My favorite things. Okay, so now we're going to do my favorite bow. I just love how this one turned out. So you're going to need four squares of wrapping paper. Mine are seven inches by seven inches. You can do however big or small you want them to be. I'm folding it in half, then I'm folding it in half again. So now you're going to have folds on both sides. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut up from the bottom to about the middle of the square. And then I'm going to go on the side and I'm going to cut along the fold up about the same distance as I did in the middle. And then I'm going to cut both folds on this side. And then you're going to open it up and we're going to make the little loops. 
So you're gonna take the side that's like the long angle and you're gonna fold it up over the side that's like a perfect corner. Is that a 90 degree or 45? 90 degree, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so the pointed side is gonna fold up over the other side and you're gonna glue it into place. And again, be careful not to burn yourself. This is where I burn myself the very most. So you're gonna take the pointed side, the longer side, you're gonna fold it over the other side and make a little cone looking deal. And you're going to wanna to do this all the way around. So I'm gonna do that and I will come back when I'm done. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the first step again. So you're gonna fold it in half then you're going to fold it in half again. So you're going to have folds on each side. There's two folds on that side, one fold on the other side, and the bottom part is open. You're going to take the scissors and cut up about halfway through on the bottom part. And then you're going to cut up the same distance on each of the folds. And then you're going to open it up and make your little loops. All right, as I do this, I just wanted to hop on and thank everybody who is subscribed to my channel. I am so grateful for you guys, and I'm sorry I haven't been around very much. I mean, it's 2020. It's been crazy. I'm sure it's been crazy for you, but I'm excited to get back to it, and I hope you'll stick around. If you have um, suggestions for videos, please let me know. Okay, now, we finished all of that, and there's a couple ways you can put this bow together. It just depends on what you're looking for. Okay, so you can stack them like this and have them facing up like that, and you can kind of see the back side of the wrapping paper. Some people don't like that, but you can make it look like this, or if you like, you can flip them all over and you can stack them this way. I've seen quite a few people do it this way because they don't like to see the wrong side of the paper. And the more you stack, the more they kind of flip up a little bit and look more full. So it's just your preference. I personally like it the other way. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So you're gonna take the bottom one, you're going to get a good amount of glue, like a big circle, just to keep them all together. Then you're gonna stack the other one on it. Again, make sure you stagger it so that it um, they're not all lined up perfectly. And this might even look cuter if you have like three squares of one size and then do a couple squares smaller. I don't know. I really like how this turned out. It's big, it's full, and it looks super cute. So I'm just gonna add this last layer. And you can see like that layer kind of folds in on itself. So you really can't see that much of the wrong side of the wrapping paper. So now I'm just gonna make a loop out of this just like I did on the last bow to put in the center. And you're just gonna put a good amount of glue on it. Make sure that it will stay on. And honestly, with the bows, I mean, your kids pretty much just rip them off anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect, right? I don't know, I love how it turned out. I think it looks super cute and it will look cute on any gift. Um, if you want, you could add a piece of felt or a piece of paper to the back of the gift to help tape it on. I've seen pe some people do that. I would personally just loop a piece of tape and just tape it onto the present, but it just depends on what you're looking for. You could even make this into a hair bow if you wanted, add a clip and some felt to the back. But anyway, what do you think? Which one's your favorite? I think this one's my favorite. I don't know. They're both so cute. And I know my kids will appreciate the extra effort. And it was easy to make, which is my type of tutorials. I love easy things that turn out cute. And it's cool to be able to say, hey, I made that. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to quit rambling now. If you like this and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing more tutorials, more crafty things later on. Anyway, thank you all so much. See you later.